And following the leaked draft opinion that has rocked the nation this morning. KLITV4's Aaron Coogan now with the live outside Planned Parenthood with the very latest. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning to you, Leigh. Well, of course, we've been talking about that Supreme Court draft for days now. As you mentioned just a little bit earlier, it does have the potential of being the most consequential abortion decision the nation has seen in decades. Now, for the most part, we've seen Hawaii uh, unaffected by a change at the federal level. Of course, Hawaii is one of the 15 states that have laws in place to protect access to abortions. And even in this most current legislative session, we've seen efforts to bolster access to reproductive health services in Hawaii. For example, Senate Bill 2282, which passed for House consideration back in March, addressed outdated portions of Hawaii law, still threatening criminal punishment for certain abortion services. And it's those same local concerns which have now emanated to the federal level, of course, pro-choice legislators noting that this monumental undermining of a precedent set so long ago disproportionately impacts certain populations. You're pitting rich women, probably rich white women, against other other women, uh, poorer women, minority women who may not have access to as much health care as somebody with means or uh, whose job funds their health services. And Senator Baker adds her concerns really lie within the precedent this decision would have on future legislation pertaining to women and their children for generations to come. Now, as we make our way back to Planned Parenthood, I do want to note that for months now we've had pro-life uh, advocates standing outside saying, you know, they've been waiting for forward moving legislation like ha that has been proposed. Uh, but still, as of now, uh, Planned Parenthood says they're going to continue abortion services as normal. For now, reporting live, Aaron Coogan. Kia TV4 Island News.